Now I will give you the position x of an object as a function of time, and then we're going to ask ourselves a lot of questions about velocities, accelerations, sort of everything you can think of, everything we have covered, speeds, and I will cover here four seconds of time. So this is the time axis in seconds, and we will cover four seconds. So let this be one, and let the object be at position plus six. This is my x-axis, this is where the object is actually moving, and this is three, and here is minus three, and this, let's say, is in meters. Let's make a little grid so that it's easier for me to put in the, the curve. 